Some companies are pulling funding from Florida's private school voucher programs because they include schools with anti-LGBTQ practices. That's right. And one such school, Trinity Christian in Volusia County, says in the handbook that students can be expelled for simply saying, I'm gay. And that lack of funding could potentially affect scholarships awarded to kids on our first coast. Our Jocelyn Howard is on your side tonight talking with some of these companies to find out what exactly is happening here. Major companies are pulling their contributions to Florida private school voucher programs, realizing it supports some schools that discriminate against LGBTQ students. Starting with Fifth Third, the Ohio-based bank pulled its funding of over $5 million within hours of being confronted on the issue on Twitter. The company tells First Coast News, we have a strong and well-established commitment to inclusion and diversity. AAA Scholarship Foundation and Step Up for Students are the two organizations that award private school vouchers to students in need in Florida. This money goes towards private school fees or transportation costs to a public or private school out of the child's district. Of the many private schools on the first coast, there are eight in Duval County that handbooks show rules pertaining to LGBTQ students or parents. Other contributors to a private school voucher program include Wyndham Destinations, Allegiant Air, and Wells Fargo, all of which pulled their contributions this week. Step Up for Students says there's a worry more companies may pull out, but contrary to many people People's beliefs, this is out of the organization's control. The organization tells First Coast News only the Florida Legislature and Department of Education have a legal authority over the program or participating schools. They say a withdrawal of donors means hundreds of low-income students will potentially be out of a scholarship next year, and the loss of donations only hurts disadvantaged children who are innocent in the debate between adults. Jocelyn Howard, First Coast News, on your side.